We are now. All right, you're on. What do you want me to do? You said you were gonna do the sitting oh. cap. <laughs> no, best part is is that you were joking when you were saying that, and then hit record. I was like, go. Oh, dance monkey, dance. dance. I'm the prettiest monkey. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, I'm Nick Nitro. With me is. Dallas Ray. Yes, and welcome out to the Good, the Dad, and Geeky. Before we get started, though, uh, there's an intro that Nathan recorded before I knew Dallas was going to do this. You can hear that if you have our GBG app. You can download that in the Andrew Marketplace. Andrew, the Andrew Marketplace. Oh, uh, Andrew, <laughs> Andrew, fetch it. Thank you, Thank you Andrew. <laughs> and or the uh, iTunes Apple Store. Uh, it's like $1.99. You get episodes, extra features. It's great. Check it out. And uh, our show, before we get started, is... Sponsored by Pack Rat Comics. Go to packratcomics.com for all your comic book needs. Board games are also there. Pretty great. Comic books, dice for RPG games, anime if that's your bag, baby. All kinds of stuff. They're awesome. Packratcomics.com. Do you like books, Dallas? I love books. You know how I know that? Because we were going to talk about it probably. Yeah, probably, probably a little yeah. bit, yeah. And you can get books by going to audibletrial.com forward slash goodbaggy. Over 200,000 titles to choose from. That's right. 200,000? 200,000? Whoa! I know! Get in the car! <laughs> it's online. That doesn't make sense. <laughs> Actually, I listened to... You know what? I listened to my books in the car. Me too. So? To the car! To the car! But first, go to audibletrial.com forward slash goodbaggy. Don't, why do I sound like Ragnarok now? <laughs> For those who know, Dallas does its all but done radio. And I'm Andrew us. Marketplace. <laughs> all right, and now, as Nathan calls it, the shit I do, the SID, the shit I do. Check it out: utmnt.com, Ultimate Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and the Magic Unauthorized Misadventures of Rocky and Boinkle. Go to gbgpresentspod.com, which Dallas is our narrator. I am a loop, a whirl. I talk really fast. <laughs> you don't see. All right, and so now we are also part of the It's All Been Done Presents Network, or IBDP. And speaking of the IBDP, as you know, I love movies, and I feel that movies are a big way for friends and family to bond. And it's fun to discuss the aspects of a good or bad film, and sometimes the geeky stuff too. See what I did there? That is exactly what Amanda will give you with the Oscars are my Super Bowl podcast! She brings different guests with her to watch a movie and talk about it afterwards. The rules, though, are simple. At least one person should have never seen the movie before. Join in on the discussion. It's all been done anyway at iabdpresents.com. Nailed it. We'll edit it in post. Cut, print, repeat. <laughs> oh, my God. Walsh, no, no, the best part is is that I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm fucking nailing this. I really am. But then I'm like hamming it up way too the much. The minute you get confident, it's done. Oh, no, it's so, oh, the yeah. The life of an actor. Oh my god! Oh, okay. Oh shit! What just happened? Did I just lose all my notes? That's Damn. not good. No, that's really horrible. I had like the next like five episodes. So everybody, welcome to the show. We've lost everything. What you're hearing right now, you know what? It's it's not all been done before. Uh, it's uh, now starting uh, uh, over uh. from the beginning. You know what? Oh, recently deleted. Recently deleted. A godsend. Thanks, Apple. Oh, my gosh. You know what? No, yeah. Recently deleted. Move. Recently deleted. Are you sure you want to get rid of those nudes? Recently deleted. <laughs> I got nothing. This is why I fail. No, I'm getting older. My hair, I'm losing my hair. It's horrible. I have no concept of my memory. As you want, you'll probably hear as we keep talking. But you never trust a fart. I do not. Thank you, Dallas. You're very welcome. And you know what? We might. You know what? Let's talk about that probably within an hour or so. You know what? Let's do that. And you know what? On episode three twenty three of the Good and the Bad and the Geeky, roll them. Yes, and. <laughs> As you heard in the intro, which we already have recorded, uh -huh. because we're recording right now, <laughs> that was the ice, uh, 
I have with me Dallas. You sure do. I sure do. And he's here to talk. Now, I want to just throw it out there. Why isn't Jimmy here for this? And the reason why is because he's a very busy man. And also, I wanted Dallas on the show. And also, you fucking love Lemony Snicket. I love Lemony Snicket. It's bad. Yes. Like, you cleared the... I think before any of us, you cleared the show first. I think, like, you and Joe from It's All Been Done were, like, neck and neck, like, just yep. pounding through it. I took a day off work to watch that. Okay, see that right there is level of commitment that like Yeah, I okay. called off work uh two months ago. Oh my god. <laughs> to, to watch that. That was my goal. And you couldn't look away. I could not. Oh. So we'll 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 get to that in a second. Um to uh get into some I do a section on the show called News You Don't Care About because it's probably something you don't care about. Okay. And thus our listeners might not care about either, so why not bore them even more? I'm in. All right. So first off, actually you will care about this, okay. but our listeners might not. Um and I kind of I, te- I tested the water before we recorded Power Rangers movie. They just uh-huh. released the last trailer. Yes. And they, they're all shows them all with their glorious little suits. And you even saw Brian Cranston as... Yeah. What, what's his name? Zordon. Zordon. I'm so sorry. I'm a Ninja Turtle dude. Not. Yeah. Pa- I, I know... Okay. I know Tommy, Jason, Trini, Zach, Billy, Kimberly. Oh, you went out of order. It threw me off. Uh, well, then what's the... Oh, there's an order? Uh, obviously, okay. it's okay, what's Tommy... The Zach, Kimberly, Billy, what? Trini, Jason. Unless you take the ones that they switched out, which I'm sure was like money reasons, and then Zach was replaced by Adam, and Trini was replaced by Aisha, Aisha. and Jason was replaced by Rocky. Okay. Why is it that order? Wouldn't technically Tommy be last because he was the sixth member of the team, even though he then became the de facto leader above Jason well, as the White Ranger? he... Oh, well, see, the thing is, I have been been watch- binge watching Power Rangers today. Actually, have you uh, really? Yes, yes, yes. Oh it's my it's God. on Netflix. Yes, it is. It's on Netflix Kids, and I enjoyed. But um, so he was the Green there's, Ranger, there's and no so kids. he was just like it's tagged just on at the end for a while. And I'm not to the part where he's the White Ranger yet because mm. when he's the White Ranger, they put him first. Okay, because yeah, Jason's gone by that point, though, isn't he? As the White Ranger? Because uh, that was after that was when it was Neo. No. What? No, no, no. See, I'm jumping them all up. There's so many. So no, there are. So I stopped watching right when the Clockwork Army came involved, which I think was Z- Neo or Zio. Was it Zio? Zio. It was Zio. Zio because I actually enjoyed Zed. I thought I didn't really. I thought Rita. It was almost too much like Shredder and Krang, mm-hmm. which like it's like oh my god, you surround yourself by blank. Zed actually is like Zed got a little Shredder and yeah. Krang towards the end of his yeah. run, but like right there he like threw the whole power play up. Grant, also, he was Jewish. He was a Jewish bad guy. <laughs> it's the, it's the best. <laughs> like his marriage to Rita, yeah. he has like a little yarmulke on his oh, weird brain yeah. exposure thing. Right. But no, that, that shit was awesome. But I liked Tommy. I kept watching the show because of Tommy. And I thought the Pink Ranger was, was pretty hot. But yeah. um, And yeah. actually, the it's movie was pretty thing. good, I thought. Power Rangers movie? Com- compared to the show? Uh, it should have won an Oscar, and it didn't. Yeah. Ivan Ooze, who's the bad guy from Raiders of the Lost Ark. I can't remember Correct. his name. Right. I also don't know his name. Yeah. But no, that movie, I had four copies of it because I kept breaking them because I watched it too much. Watched it too much? I did that with the first Ninja Turtle movie. Yep. Yep. That was, well, first time I got, when it first came out, I got it for Christmas mm-hmm. from my parents um, who didn't know I bought it with, you know, my, uh, what's that shit you get when you do Allowance. chores? Allowance. Oh my God. That's what yeah, happens when you get old. That's what on, happens dad. when you get old, Dallas. <laughs> we can do this. You get, out. You get an allowance. Okay. My dad's oh, yeah. allowance. allowance. Is that what you, here, you throw some money at it. Yeah. <laughs> Gotta buy candy. Don't okay. kids buy? I don't know. No, I, nowadays I have no clue. Man, I remember I get money. I was so fucking excited. I go to fucking Jack's Cards and Comics and Westchester, which is no longer there. And I'd be like, I like five of your finest comic books, sir. And they're like, you only have enough for one. I'm like, I'll have one of your finest comic books. And it, it, Ninja Turtles, right? It's like over there in the section of books that no one buys. Yeah, see, mine was usually I'd go to some video game store and be like, I'll take your nicest used video game, please. Oh, now see, that came later because, yeah, see, you're, d- yep. for audience, is Dallas is a little younger than me. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Only by 10, maybe 15 years. How if, old are you? I'm 35. I'm 24. You're fine. <laughs> so ten, 10 was right <laughs> yes 10 was, i was like 15 well there's some members of our it's all been done troop that are actually younger newborns, than you yeah, yeah. they're new, newborns so i have to actually be very careful <laughs> of how i say things which is yeah. do you remember the days of does that mean you're 20 years older than addy i think so holy 
Crap. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No. I, mind blown. Remember when the world was simple? Oh my god! Right now, you have no fucking <laughs> clue. <laughs> like, yes, I do. Actually, my favorite quote from a fucking movie is. Uh, yeah, I'm not even gonna get it right because I'm bad at that stuff. It's a uh, knocked up. He's talking to Paul Rudd. He's like, man. Do you remember when we were little and all that we fucking cared about was like fucking blowing bubbles? Like, and like if the bubble popped and if it, how long it floated, like that's like, and now we worry about like, oh my God, the sun's out today and it messes up my hair and, you know, will my plants in my front yard die? Like, that's this shit's heavy. I just wish I was at a kid I could blow bubbles again. I was on Facebook today and somebody posted something about taxes and I forgot that was a thing that I have to do. Yeah. No, yeah. That's where I'm at. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Well, but And you have just moved in to your own place. Correct. So, which is very exciting. Oh, my God. It's so nice. Except for the tax part. That part, have you done your taxes by, by yourself before, or do you have, yes. like, your family? Okay, so you, you're My good. aunt's a tax person, so I just go to her house, and she shows oh, me, and I do it myself. kind of fucking hate you. Um, does she, do, does she like, do turbo tax to years, or she actually does them yourself, herself? I, she, like, has the program set up on her computer. And it's not, I don't know if it's, she has like a really nice system. I don't know what it is. Because well, um, she does like, that full time? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. She's, she's, yeah, she's so great. I just go through and it's like, oh, I'm so fucking jealous right now. by numbers for idiots about taxes. It's like, get this form. What does this box say? Hit this button. It's so easy. I feel like a genius. Oh my God. And then sometimes I have to pay money and that's not magic. Oh no. That, that was, that was a fucking wake up call. I used to DJ. And I just remember I made like four thousand dollars one year. It was actually it's the only year I made a lot, and that's when I realized I should not do this as much. Yeah. <laughs> because or next time I know I should put money away. And my boss now he's like, you need to put some of this money away, like right from the get go. And after that, just go hog wild. Mm-hmm. I was like, okay, sure, whatever. I don't know. I, I'm just I'm making three hundred dollars a night. Let's do this. A dollar's a bitch. It is, and yeah, it's it's horrible. I <sighs> and now there's never enough money. No, true that. No, and then you have true to pay that. Oh yeah. I paid rent today. Ugh. The worst, isn't it? Yeah. Oh man. Who's your bank? Okay. Adult uh, th- this is the adult podcast with Dallas Where's and Nick. Bank? Yeah, who's your bank? Huntington. <laughs> Huntington? Yes. I love their I love their bill pay. I yes. love their bill pay. Mm-hmm. I, okay, I worked, you know, I can say this now cuz I don't work there anymore. I used to work at Chase. And they have something called Quick Pay, mm-hmm. which is literally I can yep. pay and it doesn't matter which bank you are, you can do it. I love their Quick Pay. But their online banking is horribly lacking, in my opinion. Like, it, it's bad. Huntington, though, has it fucking figured out. And the day Huntington goes under will frighten the shit out of me. Because that means I have to... Like, my wife has uh, another banking, I don't want to say, because go after me, no one after her. Our money's not combined yet. <laughs> <laughs> For all the hackers out there. Um, no, but yeah, so I just remember her banking, whatever, I was just like... Can I look at your online banking? I'm fascinated. And I was just like, this is the worst online. This is what's worse than Chase. Chase has a little bit more functionality now. But like Huntington, we, oh, we did a, a bill pay through Huntington. You know what? It's, our money is not in there yet. It will hit tomorrow. Let me just yep. edit it the day that it yep. shows going out. Yep. Unless it's after four, then you're fucked. Unless it, yeah. Oh, oh no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never. But, but you have 24 hours exactly. to put money back in and you're fine. It's witchcraft. See, I had a – when I lived in Utica – I had a credit union that was like spit like there was like two in the whole county mm-hmm. and they they aren't anywhere else and their online banking was like uh, because they had such a little like little number of people I assume compared to like Huntington and Chase oh yeah their online banking was like for toddlers like it was so nice to maneuver like it, there were like just three buttons oh like do you want to look at your account do you want to move money or do you want to call us <laughs> it was so nice and then i got oh wow like, now it's fancy i can use my thumbprint to move money oh right and they have the thing on, on, on we both have ios's as well mm-hmm. and they have the uh, scan check feature yeah. which is awesome so now someone gives me a check which is a little old school i, was I can gonna say just i haven't snap, seen a snap. paper check in months uh, well, when we got married, we had a lot of those, uh, and uh, well, we didn't do it that way. With that one, we took a little. We went to the bank, but um, every once in a while, like for my birthday or something, someone will give me a check, and I'll have to. I'm like, hmm. Or we get a refund from a company; they give you the check back, and you know, and it goes. It shows on your account almost immediately, unless it's like a Sunday. Anytime someone hands me a paper check, I just throw it at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, take your money back, but I'm going to take it with me. <laughs> I like the idea, but I need it now. <laughs> but but here's the thing, though. Because we have Huntington, 
We just take exactly. a picture of it. Actually, you know what? We take a picture of it and then we throw it at yeah. them. You can have it back. You can have take. it back. Take a. You know what? You just killed five trees so you can give me money, which would have killed one. You just take give your me. stupid puppy checks, Susan. I don't care. <laughs> so yeah, you know that that is our next podcast. Joining the It's All Been Done Presents Network, Adulting with Dallas and Nick. Oh my god, what a podcast! I baked a crepe today. Baked? I didn't bake it. I cooked a crepe. You? What did I do? I made a crepe. I made it. You made it. <laughs> Actually, that is about. You know what? <laughs> okay, so this is the next point. Okay. Not not necessary, but it, it it's a question of how would you phrase it or, or what's the okay. So, a crepe is something you cook at breakfast time, mm-hmm. but yet it's also it's a pastry of a sort. I just had this whole discussion today in our <laughs> class. <laughs> Crepes bend the line between bread and pastry, so we don't know what to do with it. So, t- looping it back around into geekdom. Mm-hmm. All right, okay. and I know you. Star Wars is kind of fresh in your mind. Mm. Is Jedi plural or singular? So if Episode Eight is called The Last Jedi, but we know Luke Skywalker was the last Jedi, but Episode Seven God, introduced the only one that's alive now. Yeah, but he, but Episode Seven introduced a girl who is going to become a Jedi. Like she has the power of the Jedi. So is she the last Jedi, Jedi. or is Jedi's. Luke? You, well, that's, that's what I'm saying. You, but in the shows and the movies, when they say the Jedi, uh, we Jedi have, like they're talking plural. Mm-hmm. So that's, it's a singular and plural. It's like it's craziness. So They probably did it on purpose. Bastard. Now, there's another rumor saying that. Well, you haven't seen episode seven yet, have you? No. It, it, it's okay. There's a dude in there called Emperor Snoke. No one knows what the fuck he is. Like, it's not even like Palpatine. Like, the Emperor's the Emperor. He's a bad guy. You know that Snoke is a bad guy, but you don't know what he is or why he's there. Mm -hmm. Now they're saying that he might be the actual last Jedi. Like, the original Jedi. Yeah, I know. Well, you've only recently saw episode four. Right. Yeah. He's starting out right, everybody. Did it. I haven't seen it in 12 years. (laughs) Yeah. I, I just remember my dad being adamant that he picked me up from school early so that we could go see Star Wars Episode One. Nice. And then... How did I, that attitude change by the end of the evening? I just was like, Star... Because that was the very first Star Wars movie I'd ever seen. Was oh, like, fit, so that was your first one. Fitness. Yeah. Good man, good man. And, uh, yeah, I played this game at work the other day. I got, like, three of them right. But then... Uh, <laughs> well, we're going to play it again I here in a second. I, I'd never seen Clone Wars. <laughs> okay. But then when... Revenge of the Sith. Is that the third one? Mm-hmm. Crushed it. When that came out, <laughs> my dad took picked me up from school to go see that one, too. And I was like, we we missed something here. And he was like, did we? <laughs> did we miss something here? <laughs> you know who the characters are. Oh, Just wow. So that's off. funny. So he saw the first one. And he's like, we're going to take a break. And then... <laughs> I think he saw the second one and was like, no. Oh, God. Because I've heard yes. terrible things about Clone Wars. The so. best thing about the first three movies that I've ever seen was a YouTube video the other day where they play um, My Heart Will Go On by Celine Dion. <gasps> oh, and during it, what part? It yeah. It lines up perfectly with when Anakin catches on fire. Oh, yes. And it's so good. What do they call that? They call it... Um, uh, Celine, t- Celine the Scene? What? Celine the Scene, yes. Yes. The song they, makes everything better? Yes. I, there was something else. It was like a really dark moment in a movie. Mufasa? That- yeah. Yes, that that's one. what it was. That's what it was. They, Wait, Scar they, throws Mufasa, but then Celine Dion doesn't save him. <laughs> yeah. Okay. If you think about it, yeah, someone's heart's going on, but someone else's isn't. Ooh. It's stopping, and they're dying. Yeah. Scar dies too, though. So whatever. I, he's my favorite Disney villain. He's a good one. He, okay. He, okay. Here is a question for you. First off, what do you consider a Disney villain getting away with it as? Let's let's do that. There's a like so passage of time. Like how many is it like a year work you think? Oh, what does it? What? What constitutes right? So for example, does like he, oh, because he did. I mean, he got away with it for a long time. Right. So okay. For example, Ursula was kind of the the ruler of the Undersea Kingdom for what maybe a week. Yeah. Like she didn't really get away with it. Not really. She came close, but she didn't really get you away with it. Kill someone, you got away with it. Yeah. And did she kill anybody? I, well, Ursula well, didn't. Well, she killed a lot of people before. No, she didn't. She turned them into those little this seaweed like things. A, yeah, so whatever happened to those people? That's a good point. Well, actually, ah. they all died. <laughs> no, I don't know. Ooh. Well, that would suck. It's like, Ariel, how you doing? Well, I'm happily married to Eric. What about all those people oh, downstairs? Really? Because my brother Derek didn't make it, Ariel. <laughs> thanks. Thank you for fucking this up for me. Again. 
See, well, that's what happens. You, you think you can walk on land now, and it's a whole new world. No, no, oh, no. Oh, oh, <laughs> part of your. It's, she's a part of their world. That's fucking worlds, all kinds of it, it's everywhere. Singing about love. Who cares? Yeah. Okay. Where are the guys who wrote that? Uh, Howard Ashman and. Uh, Oh my god! I will not know this name. No, yeah, but the two uh, the two guys are just like yeah. They want us to do another one. Um, oh shit. Okay, let's just look at Little Mermaid real quick. Um, world, what world. world? You know, a part of your world, man. But if they were part of your world, it would be a whole new world, Howard. Right there, a whole new quick, world. Get Robin Williams. <laughs> get Robin Williams. <laughs> He has nothing to do with it. Get him anyway. Get him anyway. All little children take off the clothes. <laughs> I, I All right, you bad I, boy. No more freebies. In high school, I wrote an entire paper on Disney. Did you really? Conspiracy theory. Did you, did, you, did you get an A? I did. I did. Okay. Now, did you say that the Lion King said sex or SFX? That's SFX. Okay. You just want to. You just <laughs> got to make sure. Like, I'm a huge fan. And for the longest time, I was like, sex. I was like, no, I'm... Gonna act mature for once. That doesn't say sex. Shut yeah, up. They, they wouldn't. I yeah, would they're not it. that. Now, only Roger Rabbit, I think, would actually try to put oh, yeah. a woman's vajayjay in there. Oh, for sure. Like the Little Mermaid thing. I really, I've looked at that, and I'm yeah, like, it's on the box. Yes, I'm like, look, they're so, they're very phallic nature, but I do not the phallic mermaid. Yeah. I I do not think that was done on purpose. Not really. Um, I. People are crazy. <laughs> okay, do you believe the priest thing on Little Mermaid? That's hilarious. It's, it's his it, knee. It's funnier if it's a penis. It's it, yes, <laughs> right. Okay, okay. I choose to believe he was. Well, it is his knee, Dallas. I mean, that's how big it was. <laughs> he was a tiny pope with a giant knee. <laughs> it's, it's like a memoir by Dallas. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but okay, so but do you think Scar got away with it? And do you know another Disney villain that got away with it, so to speak? I think Scar got away with that. Okay, he killed. Darth Vader. Um, <laughs> we're just going to loop it all back around. Let's see. Who else got away wow, wow, wow. Oh. I can only think of one. They didn't kill anybody, but it was through passage of time. Mm. Oh, God. Um, it's just going my Rolodex. Okay, uh, so so positive, here, here, positive, here, positive. here's a mint. Um, here's a mint. Oh, and here's yes, a hint. Delicious. Yes. yes. <laughs> This tastes awful. <laughs> There's no mint. Just like this question. Yeah. Ah. Um, okay, so prick your finger. Ah. She had a live action movie, which was a fucking horrible movie. I hated that movie. The Angelina Jolie one. Yes. I saw that on a plane. <laughs> good, good point. Next. Uh, <laughs> that's all I liked about it. <laughs> you saw it on a plane. I was flying to Paris when I watched it. Oh. So I didn't care it was bad. Oh, God. Uh, no. Actually, I th- actually was getting won over by the movie, and then it made things that made no sense. Like, like, if you're going to introduce Chekhov's gun, which for those who don't know is the gun always – introduced in the first act always goes off in the third, mm-hmm. which is she gets her fucking wings, mm-hmm. and they just start flying again. I'm like, that makes no sense. It looks like – it literally looks like someone showed up one day. It's like, how do we get her out of this one? Well, this is the normal script. She dies. But because she kissed the one girl, she she survives anyway, and then she stops the evil king. And someone was like, you can't kill Angelina Jolie. Let's make her a good guy for sure. She sure lives for I saw Wanted. Didn't she die in that? Yeah, well, yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah, but it's a Disney, you know, she's the, like, the one girl, the... She's the good villain. She's the good villain. Yeah. Oh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> no, no, for well, God's let's sake! Hammer that concept. Like I'm fine with making the king a bad guy, but Maleficent's a ba- also like. Yeah, one day she just wakes up and is like, "Oh, I kind of like the princess now." Like, because I keep watching her, and you know what? I stopped her from killing herself a few times. I guess that makes me a good guy. I'm surprised that's not the reason Brad left her. That movie it was terrible. <laughs> Honey, you've made a horrible decision. It's not that war movie that you made where I wanted to slip my wrist to see collar. It was it was fucking Maleficent. <laughs> our our little adopted children are so confused by Sleeping Beauty versus Maleficent. You've ruined our family. How many kids do they have? Three or four. That part is a little sad. sad. Yeah. It's three or four kids, yeah. but uh, yeah, but you know, Brad Pitt now walks around chewing gum. I like they ever see Brad Pitt, Angelina Jolie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> Maids for days. Oh, Maid God. Mommy. Oh, I wish I had maids for days. Me too. 
Jesus. I just have one to do laundry. That's all they would do. That's all they would do would be doing laundry all day. I have one that clean up my game section. My wife would have, well, I'd hope my wife would have one for her stuff. I have one for my stuff. Stuff. You're my stuff maid. That doesn't sound right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But let me see. Was there any other news that no one cares about? There was like, okay, blah, 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 blah. what was the what was the topic of the news? I didn't oh, care it was about? oh no no it was Star Wars. We, oh, okay. we just completely derailed. Ah, um, or as I like to say, we inception. I mean, we made it to Disney. Isn't that Star Wars now too? It is actually. See, I know. See, we, we just took it back. Mm-hmm. Boom, motherfucker. Right, it no, it's okay. Um, I will not edit that out. So if you want, ah, yes. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. So fresh. <laughs> Oh. <coughs> Crushed it. Oh, thank you. Actually, we lost, lost. And that's our intro. The three people that we just had <laughs> are now gone. <laughs> bye bye. Bye bye. Um, we got two more. Ben Affleck is out as the director of Batman. Next. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Kevin Smith's not going to do it though. Yeah. Millie Bobby Brown. Have you? Do you watch Stranger Things on Netflix? I I watched half of it and then I stopped. <laughs> I didn't like it as much as everyone else did. I didn't say it wasn't good. I just wasn't into it. Okay. I watched my own writer get stupid excited about something on the internet, though, about that, right? (laughs) Okay. The whole cast won for Stranger Things. Mm -hmm. And um, like they should, they started going off about Trump being a horrible human being. And and so like that's her response. My favorite one though is someone took a, a like a, a the pizza the pizza. <laughs> her eyes are just flowing around like yes pizza. We're gonna follow it around here. It's floating right there. It's, it's so long. Right like it goes on forever. <laughs> well, that because his, uh, the guy who played the sheriff, his speech kind of goes on forever. Mm-hmm. And like you're really and the thing is like if you listen to, like if you watch the full clip. Her reaction makes no sense sometimes to what he's saying. You could say you could say that she stole the show. Get it? Because she was. Yeah, she's thief. a thief. <clears throat> yeah, she she stole clothing. She. <laughs> Why? <no>? Why? <laughs> Why? You were Beetlejuice. You're fine. <laughs> she needs she needs that Beetlejuice and money. And Heather's like she didn't have money. Well, Question: When an ensemble wins an award, do they each get a tiny one? They or do. do. They each get a regular. Oh, one? they get a regular one. Have you watched The Crown? Any? On Netflix? No. It's good. You should check it out. That was my review of The Crown, everybody. Ah, yes. Actually, no. I will say this. John Lithgow plays Winston Churchill. Okay. Phenomenal. Um, Lord Farquaad? Yes. Okay. Lord Farquaad. Oh. Are you Stinson's dad? What? Yes. No, uh, I can sometimes do him. Uh, I, 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 ooh, yes. I, well. I, I, I will. He well. calls me He calls me up, and he's like, hello, Nick. I need you to come over immediately. Immediately. I forgot how good he was. Until oh. I'm binge watching How I Met Your Mother. Oh yeah, who's he in in that? He's Barney's dad. Is he Barney's dad? Mm-hmm. What? Okay, I have a very hate relationship. Love, I mostly hate love relationship. Like I like the show, but there's things like I can't I forgive the it, ending. I just put it on play in the background, and I'm like, oh, okay. I can't do that. Oh, God love you. Girl, he's with another girl, oh. and it's not the mother. Okay, next. God love you. I cannot do that. My wife will put on Gilmore Girls or uh, Friends, and Friends I used to watch religiously. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh my God, could he be any more? Yeah, I am Chandler Bing. So, Chandler Bong. Gum is perfection. <laughs> like, yeah. So, uh, <laughs> but no, Sarah will have that on the background. My wife will have that on the background. She'll be like baking stuff. And like, I'll pass through. She's like, can you come up here? I want to talk to you about something real quick. And it's a real quick answer. But I'm just like, oh, this is pivot. 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 pivot, pivot, pivot. pivot. I'm talking to you. What? I just asking you a quick what I'm so, can you mute that I'm sorry I'm paying attention and then I start watching the, and I have no idea what's being said but I'm still watching it and so she has to actually stop it it's horrible and then Gilmore Girls I started watching Gilmore Girls I can't I've have I've never seen young. Gilmore Girls I am oh. told it's incredible I need to start watching no it really is um, and you know what I have not seen the entire series I've just seen episodes here and there because I will walk through the, the living room here and I'm like oh hey and I'll just watch a little bit of it oh, and I'm like hey, what's up I, I gotta go downstairs now um Hey, did did Luke sleep with Lorelai in this episode? I don't know. They all just blur together. What the fuck do you mean you don't know? <laughs> what are you, like, somebody put effort into this. Like I no, right, well, okay. You are a fan mm-hmm. of Lemony Snicket. You would have a general idea of when things happen in yeah. Lemony's right. Yeah, which Same book? Kind of thing. Which book? Which book? Okay. Like I have a general idea of when things happen in Lost, and I'm mm-hmm. a big fan of Lost. Or, I've never seen Lost. Oh, Lost is I actually 
there's a podcast right there. We get maybe one other person that has and one other person that has not, and we watch Lost. We have philosophical discussions on Lost. Yeah, I'm down. I, I love that show. There are a lot of people that do not like that show, or they're okay with it until the very end. The very end, they're just like, what the fuck? And then I, I go, well, but are How you many, paying like attention? Seasons? No, it's only six. Oh, God. No, I will say Incredible. the first, um, I have all of them, but the six One, season. One, two, three, five, four. In that order. <laughs> we must watch them. <laughs> that would really fuck shit up. That would, that would, that would be would, backwards. Yeah. Uh, there are only six seasons, and I think the, as each season goes on, they even have less and less episodes. So it starts off with like 23, 23, or no, 26, or no, is it, it's either 23, 26, and then it goes like 18... 15, 11, I think 12, was 11. the writer's strike happened? One of them was the writer's strike, I think, but the other one was literally like, in season three, they finally got ABC to go, look, we're so glad we're a hit show for you, but we want to end this show in six seasons. And they're like, okay, how many episodes? And they, they gave them the episodes. And they're like, whatever you want. When was that writer's strike? Oh, Jesus. It was actually the beginning. You know what? We did it. it, it we actually Tech covered it on it on our show. Because it's funny now that I, like when I binge watch other shows, I can tell when that period was for all of these different shows because it just like oh i mean it's 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 crazy uh season one 30 episodes season two three episodes oh okay oh yeah i mean it, it's crazy it, it's really crazy writers strike i wish i was a good enough writer to go on strike um it was 2007 2008 oh 10 so, years ago yes 10 years ago ouch um. Oh my God. Yeah. I think thirty or was thirty. What I didn't have my driver's license. Oh, I fucking hate you. <laughs> I. I. Jimmy and I were living together at the time. Um. We were I think three years into doing GBG. I think. Don't quote me, David. I just remember that was the big deal. Was the the guys came back or the late night guys came back? Letterman, Ferguson. Oh, I love Ferguson. Um. He has a show coming on uh, Sirius XM. I'm su- I really want. I would go broke. I want to get a, a Sirius XM radio account just to fucking listen to Craig Ferguson. He's on every day from. Or will be in February from like six to eight, I think. Oh, six to eight. No, that's oh, the, that's an official time. Yeah. Love it. Tootsie Fruitsie. If you've if you've seen if you've seen Greg Ferguson, that makes total fucking sense. Yes. Okay. Um, but no, yeah, Lost. We should do that. Uh, but I like the, I like the ending. But um, yeah, there's some philosophical shit in there too. But you know, um, got the wife. We started watching. That's why they're probably out of order. Um, we started. We were about ready to start season three, and then I think Orange Is the New Black came on. Oh, that's a good show. Right. Well, that was one of those ones. I was like, that looks stupid, and I know everyone's loving it. I don't get it. And it's then, getting worse the more they do it. Actually, I kind of agree with that. Like, or let me rephrase it: the okay, Piper. I fucking hate Piper. Yeah, she needs to be dead now, but she can't because she wrote. But the she's book. the lead, and she's the lead character, right? Okay. Also, I like Jason Biggs' character. I know a lot of people didn't. Okay, okay. It's, I it's like a him in thing. everything. He's so annoying that I love it. See, I wasn't annoyed by him. Like, he made some horrible decisions, but, like, so did Piper. That's the other thing he does in every movie. He makes terrible decisions. Everyone. Well, yeah, that's Everyone. true. Everyone. First off, the horrible decision was he was in the movie. Yeah. Oh! Oh! No, Starting I, strong. I, okay, I like Jason Biggs a lot. Matter of fact, he was Leonardo in the new reboot of Ninja Turtles before he said some stupid shit and got fired oh. on Twitter, and they replaced him with Seth Green. So, I, and, and, but I like Biggs, American Pie. He did some uh, Woody Harrelson. Anyway, not Woody Harrelson. Wow, Sun Yi movies. <laughs> oh shit, that's horrible. What do you, what do you, what do you, Alan? I can think of. It's, 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 the, it's, the only thing I, it's the only thing I can think of. With that's like today is today on adulting with Dallas and Nick. Old references no one cares for anymore. Sun Yi. Sun Yi. Oh god, what a time! What a time. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, we sorry. were talking about Jason Biggs. This Big Z, Big Z, yeah. He was on Orange is the New Black, man, and I, I, I actually enjoyed the shit out of that show. And I was really pissed when his character got with her friend and then he just didn't come back. And I'm like, I, I, consider, I thought that was poor writing. My thing, I was like, oh, maybe he was too expensive. Honestly, I think it was a mixture of they really didn't know what to – they actually wanted to focus on everyone else but him. Yeah. And they, they, or they just knew what to do with him. And I'm like – I didn't really miss him though. I liked. Well, it's a weird was thing. He, he was only in the first season. Was he in the second season? Two seasons. Yeah, okay, second... I really like the first and second season. And are they on the fourth one now? Did the fourth one just stop? Is that the last one? I on? think so. Yeah. Because they're getting like I can't remember anything about the third and fourth season now. Hello there, Power Rangers. Yeah. 
That was bad. I'm sorry. I need to watch that again. I think I isn't isn't that again. also on Netflix as well? What? what wasn't that? I don't. I'm not kidding because I started watching it for a second. Maybe it was at one point. It was, got taken off because they took a lot of shit copies off. at my apartment, so it's fine. Oh, uh, you're cool. I found it for four dollars at Target on Black Friday, and I bought five copies. I spent twenty dollars on five of the same movie because I want to watch it wherever I have one in each room. Because I'm also lazy as fuck. <laughs> okay, can I tell you as a giant Ninja Turtle fan, you've blown me out of the water. <laughs> I like I like the turtles, but like it's somewhere in there. Like Dallas can see, I have a cascade of. Matter of fact, they're doubled on each other. There's DVDs behind those. I, I, yeah, like nope, I've got a Power Rangers DVD in my living room. That's I mean, epic. my apartment has two rooms, so it's like the kitchen, living room, or one room, and then I have one in my. But bed. doesn't matter. You are well prepared. Like I would like I want to watch Ninja Turtles. Do I have Netflix? Uh oh, if it's not on there, I'm fucked. Yep, the power went out. Well. Good thing I charged my laptop, Power Rangers, for days. Oh, wait. Max don't have CD drives anymore. Oh, no. That no, that pisses me off <laughs> so much. I, I was so mad when I went and got my mm. new computer. I was like, can I get one with the... And they were like, oh, you have to buy the external one. And I was like, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. Of, I Jared. don't... No, I, I really do not... I do not understand it at all. So, like... You want less parts that overheat and cause things to catch on fire. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> No, well, okay, we do this kind of stuff, mm-hmm. all right? So it's not upstairs because I don't want to lab a bit. When I used to, when we used to do It's All Been Done, we started off recording with my Mac. Mm-hmm. That thing is so old, it would, it, and part of this is on mine, but like I got, at the time it was top of the line, 2008. Ooh, Ooh good year, right. right strike almost. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. Wah. So uh, I think it's like 100 gigabytes of, of, of memory. Awesome. I still have like 80 left. But then RAM. I only need four. I'm like using Photoshop, GarageBand to do podcasts. Then I'm editing movies and iMovie. I'm writing screenplays or, or you know, mm. radio show scripts and, and Final Draft. Fire and also internet browsers take up so much RAM, and so like it's just it's overworking itself. Yeah. Oh, it's so bad. Oh, and oh, I know. But like if something goes down on my Mac and I have to reload it, I trust the CD way more than having co- oh like so dallas your whole system goes to shit and you know what you have to reload everything but you need the internet but you can't get to the internet because your whole system it- uh oh yep just cry and give up Next. oh it pisses me off it pisses me off however so they don't have disk drives but you can buy a watch that has your heartbeat on it for like six hundred thousand dollars oh really doesn't the Apple Watch tell you your heartbeat like when you want? Yeah, but so does... I say judgmentally wearing a Fitbit that tells me my heartbeat. But but that yeah, that's what we'll say. The Fitbits do that. That makes me yeah. But okay, first Apple off Apple watches are out of control. Fuck Apple Watches. Boom. I don't fucking care. Uh, fuck Apple Watches. I am an Apple guy, but fuck Apple Watches. You know what's awesome about them? They look like fucking Dick Tracy. They, w- they would make me feel like a Power Ranger. Okay, sorry. <clears throat> no, no, you're fine. <clears throat> I digress. <clears throat> this has been digress. happening to my voice. No, this is horrible. This has been happening to my <clears throat> voice. I'll be sitting there taking calls, and my phone, my... Now I'm putting it on a little bit, but this is what it sounds Turning like. Joan Rivers. <clears throat> oh, oh! A polka boy! Oh, a polka! Okay, reason why we're here. Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. Patrick Warburton for the Emmy. <sighs> okay, now... Let's go back a little bit to the history of a series of unfortunate events. Okay. The movie. Okay. What were your thoughts on the movie? They got Meryl Streep, so okay. <laughs> okay, that's And Jim true. Carrey. And Jim Carrey. Now, and Helena Bottom Carter. And but can I also throw out there, they also got Craig Ferguson. They did. And Dustin Hoffman. Jude Law. Jude Law as Lemony Snicket. God, that was a good movie. There it was. <laughs> there it was. I was waiting for it. What a because good movie. Because a lot of people... Okay, so here's the thing. You are very much hindered by the running time. Mm-hmm. That, at the end of the day, you're hindered by running time. And I know for a fact that they condensed what, three or four books. No, three, three books. Into... Or almost two and a half into the yeah. movie. Because they didn't do the, 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 the... Oh, shit. The log place. Log the factory. The miserable mill. The wood factory. The miserable mill. The Miserable Mill, yeah, yeah, that's miserable what they call it. Mill. That's called Mill. That's the fourth book, wasn't it, in the movie? Was it the fourth book? Yeah, it was the fourth. Book. I thought it was the third book. The third was the Wide Window with Meryl Streep. Oh, oh, oh shit! <laughs> 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 this is that part where you have no control of your diaphragm, and then weird shit just—it's kind of like when you you're trying not to shit, 
and you think you have to fart instead, and then it comes trust out anyway. Trust the fart. You never trust the fart. You never do. You never, never do. Fart. It's horrible. Rest Absolutely. In Rest in peace, Grandma. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck, really? <laughs> Okay, but no, I forget someone was like, this is way better than the movie. The movie sucks. And that's like the current reoccurring theme. I'm like, now hold on. The movie wasn't that bad. The movie was good for what it was. For what it was. Right. And Jim but Carrey was a good Olaf. It broke my heart because when I first saw it, I didn't realize that they set it up to never be another thing ever again. No, they did. They, they, no, no, they. God bless America. No, matter of fact, if you notice, the guy who directed. Pilot, I think, is also the guy who directed the movie, Barry Levinson. Or Barry, yeah, he also directed Adam's Family, uh, Pushing Daisies. He has that very. Yes. He has that aesthetic. Of Happy how he, sadness and sad happiness. Yes. Oh my God. So, but he really did love that series and mm-hmm. he wanted to do, or if not, he produced the first one if he didn't direct it. But either way, they were wanting it because that was actually the first time they were talking about franchising and Paramount wanted a franchise really bad. Um, it's actually one of the reasons why they bought Turtles later. They want that franchise money. Um, and then the movie did not make what they thought that a Jim Carrey movie and a franchise movie should have made together. Meryl Streep. Movie. Meryl Streep. Oh, my God. Meryl Streep. Oh, uh, Billy Connolly was the snake uh, uncle. She's good. It was. But the more I'm saying, like, it's a good, I was like, it was a good cast. It was a good <laughs> cast. <laughs> it's a good it's cast. It's a good cast. But um, and actually, the I thought the children were good. Mm-hmm. Uh, Violet was the girl who played Violet, and she grew up to be a little from this thing. Yeah. Um, but but I'm saying the cast was really good, and the movie wasn't horrible. Mm-hmm. But they just again for time condensed so much yeah. in there. So but I've never read any of the books. <gasps> J- it, well, Jimmy and I have this thing where Jimmy would go out buy the book, he would read it all in like one setting. And then I'm like, so tell me what happens. And oh, he would just tell me. You are the worst. I am the worst. My favorite part watching movies with my wife, if it's like based on, you know, a fancy schmancy, like uh, mm-hmm. uh, the the cook from India movie or whatever with yeah. uh, with uh, Helen Mirren or whatever it is. <laughs> cook from India, the, <laughs> the exotic marigold hotel. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> something like that. But there's a, there, there is a movie there where there's a chef and she, he gets into a war. His family gets into a war with Helen Mirren who opens a restaurant right across the street. Yes, I know what you're talking it, about. It's a good movie, mm-hmm. but like it's based after a book. And I was like, so is that, and I read Wikipedia, so I was like, is that when this happens in the book? Why don't you just read it? I, but, but is this when this happens in the adult. book? I don't have to read. I don't have to. You know what? Wikipedia is the new Cliff Notes. That's how I feel about it. You know what? And it, you know what? It makes, it makes me excited to see the movie anyway. Yeah. But no, so halfway through watching the show, though, I'm like reading Wikipedia. I'm like, is that what happens here? Let me is snick it. Is that what going on? But no, they it's really good. They did a really good job of staying with the books for the most part. Like, I had no idea that they would do two to three episodes to do every book. I think, yeah, because I think they were trying to do two for each book because the first season's eight episodes, so it's the first four books. Oh my god! And they want to try to do four seasons, I think. Mm-hmm. So it'd be four, and I, then I, five through eight. I just could not look away. Oh my god! No, I literally I got obsessed with that song to the point where. My wife would be sitting there on the couch. I'd be sitting there in the recliner. I was like, let's go watch Happy Endings or something or Shield or catch up on something. And I was like, but first, let's hear something. And I would play the theme song to <laughs> Lemony Sick because it's so goddamn. Neil Patrick Harris. Well, also, every time I watched it, my wife would like start falling asleep in the pilot because it was like 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock at night. Mm-hmm. So I have to watch it again and again. So I watched the pilot like five times. Oh, well. And it, that's not on purpose necessarily, but yeah. it, the song got in my head to the point where I was like, look away, look away. Yeah, so good. Well, the theme song changes every episode. I, you know what? I'm so glad. Netflix actually, on mine, I've heard other people complain that it did or didn't, but because Netflix usually mine, sticks to the thing. Mine skipped it until Jimmy texted me and he was like, I love that they changed the theme song. And I was like, what? Yeah. No, see, mine didn't do that. It did it, I think, on the second episode. Mm-hmm. Um, but then, uh, it, for some reason, it didn't skip on all the other episodes. I don't know why. Um, and so I got to see it every single time. And I, I was just like, oh, my God, so awesome. So good. It was. And Neil Patrick Harris produced it, and he's Count Olaf. Mm-hmm. Um, and they may let me snick it, not just the narrator. Oh, my God. He's an active part of the, se- of the scenes playing out. and he, he plays the role in the show that he plays in the book. He's in the story. And he's there doing things. Is that r- really? Like in the book, it's constantly like when he interrupts during the thing where he's like, now this is a word that this means it's, that's in the book. 
Oh, okay, okay. Like, it cuts the dialogue. Like, Lemony Snicket isn't in the movie very much. It's no, just, he's not. He's just narration, and he's, and he's not. a typewriter. Yeah. Jude Law made probably tons of bank on that. Jude just sitting there on the fucking... God damn you, Jude And a beautiful set that looks beautiful with a clock, smoking a fake cigarette, and just typing on the typewriter. But, um, but... Th- He's not actually in in the scene of the narrative. He's just explaining the yeah. narrative. Okay, okay. That's where wow. I was going like, wait. Not too much, not yet. Not yet. I want to say, the only time he was actually part of the narrative was actually in the, in the end of season four, um, for spoiler alert, where the cops are actually, like, he, it appears that everything is starting to sync up. Mm-hmm. The cops are after whoever did whatever to the mill, and he's in town, or near the town or whatever, and he's, he's getting out of town, packing up all this stuff, which was really good. Um, and... I've not read... I've read Wikipedia. I knew it was a spoiler, but my, my wife did not. Uh, which is, it's like, uh, Beatrice is the kid's mom. Right? Beatrice. Remember, remember every episode and every book starts with a Dear Beatrice. Oh! And Beatrice is yeah, the one yeah, that wrote yeah. that really long reasons on why we can never be together. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, but I never read it because... Which, uh, that is, oh my God. Yeah. That's so good. Yeah. And the kids are really good, too. The only thing that irks me a little bit is, is that the... Klaus is older than Violet in real life, and he's super tall. What? No, that no. What? <laughs> what? Wow. Okay, tell yeah. me more. It Klaus is like a full like six inches taller. So than are they like body. apple carting it or something? Like where they put the apple cart underneath her, and she's just standing a little bit taller? No, she's just the older sibling who's shorter. I have, see, I, middle, which I don't pay attention to that. I was just like paying attention. It was well, like because at first I was like, oh, that's frustrating. But I was like, oh, you know what? Middle children are tall sometimes. I did not see. I didn't know. I didn't know that. Then the actor is actually like two years older. But oh, they're all good. I love when they CGI the baby. I love it. Okay, the it first like, pilot episode though, because I saw it so many times, you only see the back of its head, and that kind of I was like, oh, did they run out of money, or is it just really weird to watch a baby eat a rock? <laughs> <laughs> and that's like dangerous. So they don't want to like. Well, and it's funny that. too because they do like the cheesy CGI like when she's chewing on things oh yeah in the wood like when she's in the factory she's but like nah, that's nah, kind nah, of nah, the, nah. the feel you get from the books too because you're like it's a fucking baby chewing on a log what right okay I guess if that's guess she can do that mm. okay so is the stuff with Olaf I know the stuff with Olaf and Snicket are are, uh, are in there mm. but the other family now was that new the from Wagmires? Was, was that what that was the uh, what's her name? It was, uh, it was who we, you, well, I have not read the book. So like in, it's not in the Wikipedia entry too. So the yeah. fact is like, well, mother, well, father, we got to get out of this. One. Yeah. Will Arnett and the girl from How I Met Kobe, Your Mother. Yeah. Kobe Smulders. Uh, Smulders. Yeah. See, when it first happened, I was like, oh my God, they're doing it where the parents were alive this whole time crossing paths. Right. That's what I thought. out of control. Cause I was like, that's awesome. But then like, as it went on, I was like, there's no fucking way that it was not this, the, like, mm-mm. No, nope, not gonna happen. The camp, but then I was like, "Who are they?" Yeah. Who are so, they who are the quagmires? For those quagmires who like me, please. Oh, I forget their names. That's but they're the ones that are technically another so version of them, right? Basically, like in the thing of like Count Olaf's eye tattoo and this whole like organization of secrecy the, or whatever. The, fi- the volunteer firefighters. Mm-hmm. Yes. Volunteer VFD. The volunteer fire department. Fire department. VFD that's what is, it was. VFD. It comes back all the time. No, yeah. Well, that's, all the books, it's like, because you're like, what's VFD this whole time? Like, what is it? And at the end of the book, it'll be like, very fancy doilies. And you're like, fuck, like, okay. See, they haven't really got to that going. part yet. They haven't. The next season's going to be fucking, oh, it's going to be so good. Now, so do you, good. Now, do you think they're going to do what they did in the book with Olaf? Because doesn't Olaf kind of become, he kind of saves the kids in the end a little bit, doesn't he? A little bit. Like, he gets run through with a harpoon, well, and something else happens, and, like, he's going to kill the kids, and he's just like, no, you guys need to get out of here. See, here's the thing. I, it's interesting. So I read the books as they came out. <clears throat> yeah. And I I don't remember reading the end. Oh, shit. Like, I, I, I know that I read it, because, I like, you said that, and I'm like, I remember reading that, but I don't remember much of How it. it. Oh, God and damn then it. When I was the, hoping for beautiful spoiler <laughs> treasures. No, it's okay. But... I uh, but then there's like all the extra stuff with the series too, mm-hmm. like because when you read the fir- the thirteen books, it's like that's not everything. They're still showing. Oh, they don't put Jesus. a bow on it because it's a series of unfortunate events. Fuck you, let me snake it. So there's like all these other things that are like a guide for VFD, and it's like stories that go with the series. It's out of control, and that's when I was kind of like, I don't have time. Just tell me. I kind of think 
uh, so if, when we watch do our lost podcast, you'll kind of get the same feeling that mm-hmm. like halfway through, they're just like all these mysteries that we're telling you about the island. N- it won't fucking matter. So we're just gonna we're just gonna tell you about the characters. Yeah. And at that point, you're like, but I want to know about why that weird bird says one character's name. What the fuck is that? Like, what's all this other shit? It's the same kind of thing. It's like, oh, I'm finished now, and uh. You know what? Let me write something else now to make make things make more sense mm. because I apparently forgot about it. I don't, I'm not saying he, I'm not saying that's what happened. I no. I honestly wonder if maybe he wrote it and it was just kind of like uh, uh, J.K. Rowling. There are some stuff in there that are just I've heard. I'm not as good as Potter either, um, but I'm a Potter fan, ironically. Which is um, she would take stuff. What house or, are you? What's that? Oh, I I'm Gryffindor. Look! Look! Everybody, oh, okay, god damn it. Oh, a house that gets to choose itself. Oh, I'm Harry Potter's house. Boring. Next. No, okay. <laughs> Motherfucker. <laughs> no, no, this is, you broke my brain. Get more flustered. So, I am that guy who is the, I root for the good guy. So, like, if you watch, so, like, okay, series of fortune events is a little different mm. but like if you there's a tv show where there's like the bad guy character and everyone fucking loves him i like him but i still root for the the good guy even though he's a complete idiot yeah like, okay like jason biggs i root for jason biggs character in orange is the new black because he is probably a gryffindor he's like harry and ron and Hermione. no right but i i i go for that guy like i root for him i want him to succeed even though he does some really stupid shit I don't root for like you know Piper and and who's probably Slytherin or not Slytherin but uh, what's the other one? There's Hufflepuff, Ravenclaw, Slytherin, and Gryffindor. Mm-hmm. There's not another one, right? There's not. Oh, thank Jesus Christ! Um, <laughs> oh God! Oh, <laughs> but yeah, so he's probably one of those other ones. But you know what? Uh, fuck it! I'm 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 Gryffindor, man. I'm, I'm a Hufflepuff. I mean, any house. That that's the one with the ghost, that... right? What is the one with the ghost? They all have ghosts. Okay, but. It's important to the Harry Potter story. The, well, the one they cut out into the very last book, the movie, I mean. Uh, was that Ravenclaw? No, that's Ravenclaw. It's Ra- okay, never mind. Hufflepuff. See, Hufflepuff is the one. They have their common room by the kitchen, so. <laughs> the real reason why. No. No, uh, okay, who, who is the main group? Is, is, uh, is it the blonde haired chick that has the little, her dad is in the last movie? I can't remember his name. See, I'm poor. Love good. Love good, yes. She's Hufflepuff. She's Ravenclaw. She's Ravenclaw? Because mm-hmm, she's smart as fuck. Her dad's crazy, but like, she's fine. I've, okay. I thought Hufflepuff. Uh, trying to say this delicately. There are no famous Hufflepuffs. Cedric Diggory. That's it. That's He's up. Hufflepuff? Yeah. I thought, okay, because I thought Hufflepuff were for. I thought, Raven, I thought he was Ravenclaw, because I thought Hufflepuff were the people, kind of like uh, the, the girl that Emma Thompson played, where she's, you know, she's a little loopy. I thought, you know, if your character is a little loopy, you're Hufflepuff. It's the goofy idiots. Yeah, but like, but she's not super goofy. She's fucking Ravenclaw. So now I'm just my whole world is just shattered right now. It's it's completely. I've learned arbitrary. so much. I've learned so much it's today. It's completely arbitrary. They just say you get to wear green forever. Act like a dick, Slytherin. And you're a jock, and and apparently our lead of our story. So you're Gryffindor. Gryffindor. You win. You win. <laughs> Actually, you know what? That would be really funny. They should do a... Have you ever seen At Midnight? Yes. They should do one for Harry Potter, get the oh Harry Potter God. actors. And it's like, you just have just have Daniel Radcliffe, who is actually very funny and very smart, but he can just sit there. He's like, hello, Chris. Points Gryffindor! <laughs> it's, the whole, it's like the whole... He's like... You win again. You well, win even, every year. Well, even though Emma... What's her name? Emma Watson actually was the smartest one here and won all the yeah. points. Gryffindor wins. <laughs> like, Harry Potter, you win. Next. <laughs> Uh, actually, it would be the one kid who uh, killed all of us in Planet of the Apes, or War, or uh, guy who plays uh, Slytherin, the Dick. Oh, Tom Felton. Yes, he's the asshole who like, you, like when you're watching Planet of the Apes, or the, was it the beginning of the Planet of the Apes, or whatever the fuck it is, like you're watching it, and he's just like he's in the movie, he's like the Dick to all the gorillas in the in the uh, in the in the institute, and you're like. That dude going to die. He's gonna but die then, but then he's dick. but but he does something stupid, which releases the virus that makes them all smart. It's his fault. And so then, when they kill him, you're like, yeah, Malfoy, Malfoy, Lucius Malfoy. See, oh my God, Dallas, this is what you look forward to. Lucius or Draco? Lucius is the death. Oh, fuck. Okay, yeah, that's the Patriot. He's the Patriot. 
He's also in lots of other things. I know 50% of everything. <laughs> 100% of nothing. nothing. <clears throat> Man, 10 years <clears throat> older. I'm dying. Five years younger version of me right now is like just so pissed at myself right now. Like really can't fucking remember Draco Malfoy. Lucius you know Malfoy. It no, it's happening more and more each <laughs> yeah, passing it day. Happens. No, no, no. Like again, we're doing this thing, this this acting thing, and I'm just going like I have to memorize lines. Like yours is way worse than mine. I have to be off book by tomorrow, and I haven't looked at it since last week. So oh god, score. I like I have it so much easier than you, but I'm petrified. I'm just like, hey, hey Would there, you say how at are first you? First, you were afraid, and then you were petrified. I'm. Oh, oh. Did you keep thinking? You could ever live without me by your side. Okay. See, I knew it was somewhere. I, got I just, you. I got you. Thank you. I appreciate that. And now, fun improving with Nick Argan Bright. I, I got it. I got it. Wait, wait, wait. Uh. Yes, and what am I doing right now? <laughs> it's like you're, you're, you're. Oh, oh, you're, you're ringing out the cashier. Yes, that's you're, what I'm doing. You are masturbating wrong. <laughs> Yes, I am. Oh, okay. Yes, I am. And you know what? I, I just needed some lotion, though, because this is what it sounds like when doves cry. Oh, my God. <laughs> okay. May he rest in peace. <laughs> oh, God. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay. So. The Quagmire triplets are. Yes. <laughs> I forget the one's name. Thank you for taking us back, it, Dallas. He's in it. Oh, is it a he or she? The only two important ones are Duncan and Isadora. Mm-hmm. So the whole thing is like. The Baudelaire's and the Quagmire's are... I keep thinking Family Guy now. No, I know. Giggity. Giggity. No, it's the Quagmire's. So, like, whatever this organization is that Count Olaf is in, Count Olaf is the one that burnt down the Baudelaire's house. Yes, yeah. Well... Well, though, for some people out there, they you might not know that yet. Or not really good. Spoiler alert. You're behind the times. <laughs> but then... <laughs> uh, but then when it's the miserable... I think it's the eighth, the last episode of the season, you see the other house burn down. Yeah. And so, Will Arnett and Colby Smothers die. Yes. I'm led to, I, I figured that out. Some people might not have, uh, are 100% clear on that point yet. Just kidding. They're alive. They're not. Okay. And then, like at the end of that, that's when you see the, the two kids, the kids sitting back to the back. Other side. The one's missing. It's the triplets. But one of them is <laughs> off doing other things. Like, I think he got kidnapped or something. I forget. Oh, my God. Okay, yeah. but how do they intermix with the Baudelaire's? Or, like, do they become, like, uh, Antith... Uh, they just so happen to go to the same academy. They get sent to the same academy. Mm. So, like, you'll see in the Oster. Academy. Now, I do know the VFD mm-hmm. sp- kind of split off into itself and then split off to a third party. The third party is Olaf's group. Right, they're like the bad bad guys, mm-hmm. and the other group is they were fighting about how to deal with the other group, and, and like and be robbers and thieves, which is how it kind of splinters. So, are the Quagmires part of that splinter group, or are they part of the original good? Well, I'm saying, are they the are they good guys? Or are they? Well, it's it's weird because it's like the Boulder parents and the Quagmires parents were all in the same good guys yeah, and yeah, stuff, yeah, yeah. and that was with Uncle Monty and Aunt. Black mm-hmm. Meryl Streep. I don't know her name. Viola Davis. That was not her. No shit. It's not Viola. I oh my god! I this... thought it was that too. I was like, I'm gonna call it's... you this, but I know that's not her. Oh my god. Um, but... Alfie, Alfie Woodward. Alf, Alfie something or other. I believe you. Thank you. But um, I. Uh, what was I going to say? But it's like this <laughs> whole organization of like they were in a cahoots together. But then there's also like this whole thing with the Snickets. Because there's, like, Lemony Snicket and then his siblings, who are in the story later, who are part of the current story. Like, it's fucking out of control. It's nuts. Oh, my God. Okay. It's so good. Okay. Well, the thing I was really excited about, they showed Lemony being involved in the storyline because he mm-hmm. went to school with Count Olaf. And that kind of f- figures the connection there. There's and Patrick then goddamn Warburton. He can do whatever he wants. Yes, he can. Have you been to the website where he reads off cheese? Yeah. So amazing. Yes. So, but no, I, I really enjoyed the shit of it. Now, do you think it's too violent to show kids? No. I, I, I don't think so either, but I just want I also to... don't think it was, like, made for kids. But yet the books are. They're young, they're, they are considered young adult no- novels. Eh, young adults. All these kids with their phones, who knows? <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Do you have... No, go for it. No, I was just going to say, it seems like... A lot of young adult books aren't targeted at young adults. They tend to be toward like 
fucking idiot kids who will pick it up, become obsessed with them, and then take it into their adult oh, meat with everything. So. God. Um, okay. Well, but, that's... So, final thoughts on this TV series of Series of Unfortunate Events. Um, I like Neil Patrick Harris. I was bummed at first. They had a Jim good Curry cast. Was awesome. But I think they did a smart thing because Neil Patrick Harris can do it for the long haul. Jim Carrey was better at doing it once. Interesting. I think I would have gotten annoyed with Jim Carrey doing the whole series because he was so over the top in the movie. Interesting. But Neil Patrick, because and the other I kind of agree with that actually. And Neil Patrick Harris is funnier because of the writing, not because he's a funnier actor. But the Count Olaf is sillier well like, I, I has, think i think he's approaching it differently too yes but the fact that he has humor in the series makes it even scarier when he's like trying to stab them in the face actually there were a few times where i was a little creeped out by him like uh, yeah. well, actually towards the end of it when he was dressed up as the as the boat captain that was actually he was a little bit more terrifying oh jesus the that only was thing watching I didn't the like about right. the first season was that they had to do the first three like, like you have to you have to start at the beginning the bad beginning but they uh but it's it's been covered so many like everyone yeah. knows those ones. Yeah. And like they added some cool stuff. But then it was like episodes like this when the miserable mill started, I was like shitting my pants because like this hasn't been touched. It's been this soiled. It's been touched. And they did such a good job of it. Uh who's your least favorite character? Mine? Um I kind of feel okay. I like the actor, and I just I just feel like in comparison. Again, I'm going off the first movie, for example, mm-hmm. the character in that. I kind of feel like, well, I don't know. I kind of feel like the Klaus. He just kind of rubs me wrong for some reason, and and his storyline got really good in the last two episodes. Mm-hmm. But kind of everything before that, like oh, I kind of remember this from the movie, which is which is in its own thing, but like. I feel like he's becoming more of a whiny, just pain in the ass more than actually trying to help. Or he's becoming pessimistic, which, to be fair, I'm surprised that it took him that long to get there. But I guess after watching the movie, I have in my head that these kids always stick together. They don't really argue with each other. But realistically speaking, there would be no story if they did that. Yeah. So I'm kind of at the odds of nostalgia, what I remember from the movie versus what actually is happening. And it's just, it, it throws me off because the girl comes out like, she thinks she's doing the baby's the baby. Actually, the baby cracks me up. The baby's the she baby. She has some great lines. The best, I just, my favorite parts of the baby, Sunny, my favorite parts of Sunny is just like when they blatantly CGI her entire person. <laughs> and they're like, hey, I forget the actor who plays Klaus. Like, hey, can you hold this stick? Yeah, it's fine. We're just going to put her body on it. We'll do it. We'll edit it in post. It'll be fine. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I also liked the, uh, if you. Like, in the movie, they didn't talk about the henchmen as much. Not really, no. And in the series, they are all over the place with the henchmen. Like, they're everywhere. Because I actually like the henchmen. Yeah, actually, they're, they're very well-developed. Can you name them all? Can you describe oh, any of them? No, there they are... They don't have names they don't, in the books. Um, they don't have names in the Craig books. Craig Ferguson played the one that looked very effeminate. And that's the one in in he, he like he shows up uh, the to the snake. The one who like neither a man nor a woman. Right. There are the two old lady twins... Two powder face ladies. Two powder is that okay? Is that what it is? Okay, they look like twins to me in the show. Um, and then there is the brute strength guy, the kind of like village idiot, yeah, bald. What, is, is what he's called? I think it's just the big man. I don't remember the big man. Big and man. I feel like there's one more, but you don't see a lot of even the big man. Oh, the hook. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The guy with the, the hook. Okay, man. Who's like funny and then terrifying and then funny and then terrifying. Terrifying. Like an emotional. Actually, I thought Olaf was the guy in the mill in the mask. But then it was the guy with the hook, and I was just like, Holy. "Until Neil Patrick Harris comes out and fucking drag and kills it." Oh my god! Also, mad props for um, uh, the guy from Miami Vice who played the head of the mill. Uh, yeah, I can't think of his name right now. He's really know. good. Yeah. See, but what you know who? He, yeah. Yeah. What was the other one? Oh, what is her name? Catherine O'Hara. Is that? Yeah, her name? Catherine O'Hara. Because she was in the movie. She was in the first movie. She was Justice Strauss. She was the judge in the first movie. In the movie. Oh, and then it was Joe okay. Cusack in the series. Now, and in, then they brought her back. Does she, to do the does she die in the in the books? The Justice of the Peace. I don't think so. Do, do, I, think I feel. I feel like they left that. I feel like they left that open. Like, do they leave that open in the books that you can remember? No, they or just kind of. I don't think they left it open. Because okay, as a ri- writer, to me, I felt like that's something you leave open to come back around by the end of the series. That is oh, Chekhov's gun, if yeah. you will. 
But the way I know how the book ends from reading and what Jimmy's told me, it's not what happens. It's actually the opposite. Like she's looking for the kids, but mm. she never finds them. And no one, as a matter of fact, everyone thinks the kids are dead because there's evidence that the kids got horribly killed. Yeah. Just like Olaf did. Like they found Olaf, well, I think. And but. it's weird because in the movie, she's just like, because again, the way they have to set up the movie to be a movie, she's yeah. just like the neighbor next door who wants to be in theater and blah, blah, blah. But in the series, she actually like has the book of important information that the kids need. Yeah. And so it's like, which that's a nice little fuck you to the audience too, a little bit because we are living through the kids, which is actually great writing in my opinion. But the the other part though is like, and also she's very well developed. Mm -hmm. Like she she wants kids. She would be a great mom. She would be someone who would facilitate all their needs and all that. And so, um, I I I kind of hope maybe they give it a somewhat happy ending, but because if they're doing it as a one off, that's how they do it. But they they probably won't. I I don't know. I just I thought that was always kind of interesting see i know i've read the first like six so many times that when we get like toward the end of it it was one of those things where like i didn't like to read the, the final books because then it was over and i didn't like so i'd you be like it okay ending. okay mm. i don't want it to be done so i'd like the last three books i'm not as confident on i'm like but, i've read them so this will be a, a greater surprise for you then which will be kind of nice but okay the first co- oh, I love it. throwing it back at you what's your least favorite character mr fucking poe Who's Poe again? The black guy that coughs a lot. Screws oh, him over every you know. Time. Okay, you know what? I like to change my answer. I do not like him. He's the first of all. He's annoying in the movie because he's just annoying in the movie. He's you. He's awful in the books, and then they basically just took that and made it a person in the thing. Oh, he's the worst. Oh my gosh. He's the worst. He's. I hate him. I hate him. I hate Who's him. your favorite character in the movie or the show? Sorry. Uh, I think, uh, you, <sighs> Uncle Monty. Uncle Monty. You know what? I, I agree with that. He was my favorite in the movie too. Well, because the way they, they set up the reptile room, which is really, really good. Cause the only thing like they, they let you know, like, let me think it's like, Oh, that person dies. All right. Just wait for it. It's fine. And then you're like, and then it like plays out and you're like, they're not going to fucking die. Like they're saving them. Mm. And then they die. It's, it's, uh, it's almost as if it's a series of unfortunate, unfortunate events. events. I see what you did there. But every time, it's Monty in the movie and the thing, I'm like, he's not going to die. And he fucking dies. Now, I do remember Meryl Streep playing the aunt in the movie, and I don't remember her being as over the top about being afraid of everything. Like, but granted, they had more time to do so. Like, literally, she's like last minute, like the last 10, 20 minutes of the movie. Meryl Streep was just like loopy in the movie, whereas. Yes. Yeah, this one like uh, What's name? Alfred, 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 Alfred the Butler, Alfred the Butler. <clears throat> but she's just she's a strong black woman in this one. Because the other thing was in the she movie was. they don't play it or they don't play it as like Aunt, Aunt Josephine. Aunt Josephine wasn't like this. She used to be super brave and blah blah no. blah. She's just always kind of crazy and silly. Yeah, but this one the, she starts off kind of crazy, and then you realize how awesome she was and then, because she lost you know, her. Patrick Harris pushes a strong black woman into it. Oh my god! And it was actually a very valid reason why, which is she fell in love, and that's why she lost her nerve because love is what makes the world. Well, go she better. shouldn't have eaten a banana. That's all I have to say. Every time Meryl Streep, you should yeah, know better. That Alfred was the Butler, you should that know was like very comical and just like I had a banana, <laughs> like a banana. Where the that's, fuck did you get a banana? Where? We, why? Why a banana? You're in a cave, you ate a banana. Like you I figured. Bananas off the floor, Josephine. Well, she, you know when what? She brought it. She didn't have it when she jumped out the window. Where'd she get the banana? She, yeah, she was afraid of, she, but apparently she had supplies, but she ran through all her, through her supplies already. Yeah. So literally, what did you have? Literally just a banana and a, your boat. And Where did she get it? It was her secret stash in the boat, but she didn't know Where she did would she need. Where banana, Nick? <laughs> oh. That's a series of unfortunate events. <laughs> I never heard one. Well, it depends. I just like that she's scared of real estate agents. That was also funny. Because real estate agents are kind of scary, Dallas. Yeah, yeah, they're horrible. I agree. I see them on binges all the time. Sitting there, yeah, they're, they're pretty scary there. Also their faces. Yeah. Just plastered on binges. Did you hear about the dude who gave uh, Pan Oswald a, a, a good shit looking? Last, the time we're recording this, it was a good shit looking last night on Twitter. And he just said, um, oh, I'm just channeling the thoughts from a psychic from your dead wife. And Pan Oswald lost his shit. And just started trolling the guy, just looking at his Twitter feed. The guy was a realtor. Oh my 
God. And then uh, within, like, I think by early morning, his Twitter account was private. And I think an hour or two later, it was deleted. And then uh, apparently he's no longer with the real, real firm, realty firm. No, go ahead and fuck with Pat Oswald. Do it. Yeah. He was, he was Ratatouille. Don't fuck with Ratatouille. You don't, Remy, you don't fuck with Remy. Mm. Mm-mm. All right, we have talked for over an hour and 31 minutes, but at least by... Jesus. <laughs> right, I know. So we're going to wrap this up. Final thoughts for Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events. This next season's going to be the best one out of all of them. You know what? If it's not, I'm gonna come. We're gonna have you back on, and then you have to defend yourself. It'll be, it'll be not, Judge Jimmy. We'll okay, do Judge that's Jimmy. Fine, because the next ones are the Astero Academy, which is one of the most frustrating books. And then I'm super confident that it's gonna be the best, but I don't remember which one comes after that. I think it's the Vile <laughs> Village. You know what? There's then, a good Judge Jimmy. Which who's the better Count Olaf, Jim Carrey or Neil Patrick Harris? Oh please! I know. Please I know. Neil Patrick Harris. I, I I agree, but you know Jimmy will have us both on opposite side. Actually, no, no, he'll have you on Jim Carrey's side, and then I'll have to argue somebody else. He's Jim fucking Carrey. I just want see. Yeah, see. <laughs> okay. Anyway, thanks everybody for listening. If you have any thoughts, uh, goodbaggeek at gmail dot com. You can reach Dallas on as Dally Salad on Twitter. Correct. Yes. Fucking nailed it. I can remember that. I can't remember Alfred. Alfred the Butler. Alfred the Butler. I can't remember. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm just Fuck. Googling Alfie. It's not Alfie Allen. It's Alfred. I think it really is Alfred Woodward. I swear to God. Alfred Woodard. Fuck. I was close. There she I was is. close. AKA not Viola Davis. And if you liked, uh, you can tweet us at Good Bad Geeky. You can tweet Dallas at Dally Salad. Is your Instagram Dally Salad as well? Oh, shit. My Instagram is Dallas829. There you go. And my, our Instagram is Good Bad Geeky. And uh, thanks everybody for listening. And we'll be back next week with uh, with Nathan. <gasps> I'm taller.